Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father. His name is Yahweh, and His beloved Son is Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai, Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rikakudash. We give double honors to our true teachers of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth, risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. Shalom to the 144 governing body of men. Also, shalom to the one third, the hopeful elect of men, women, and children. Forever we give all the praises and the glory. To our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Amen, so be true. My name is Brother Ahab, and through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, I hope and pray that this is edifying. I'm going to name this video, Lord willing, Women Stand By Your Man. Now, this is the, <laughs> we're in the year 2024, the hopeful year of, of Jacob's trouble. So there's a reason why a woman must cleave unto her man. The inspiration for this, this song, you know, came to mind a couple of days ago by the name of this woman by the name of Tammy Wynette or Winnet. Tammy Wynette. She sang a song in the in this um the late 1960s, about 69. It was released. Tammy Wynette, stand by your man. Alright. So I'm gonna read the lyrics. Okay, of that song, and it says, Sometimes it's hard to be a woman, but you remember, you know, this is a woman speaking on this side, obviously, this side, yeah, because a woman is not in her right frame of mind on this side, all right. This is why we seek the, 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 the new kingdom to come. We're all going to be in the right frame of mind. Okay? Giving all your love to just one man. Well, that, that's supposed to. You're supposed to give all of your love, all of your attention to only one man in your life. Alright? You'll have bad times and he'll have good times doing things that you don't understand because you know you know because you're a woman you don't understand certain things okay there's so much we could talk into it but we're just touching the surface but if you love him you'll forgive him still going to you're gonna go we don't want to go to it too much into it okay because it's all about the man it's not about the woman, right? It's about the man. This is why the tabernacle of David is of men. It's all about men. But if you love him, you'll forgive him. You're supposed to love your man anyway. And to keep it fair, a man is supposed to love his woman also. Even though he's hard to understand, in the kingdom to come, it's not going to be hard to understand. But on this side now, all right, because of, you know, you're not in the right frame of mind. Even though he's hard to understand, and if you love him, oh, be proud of him. You're supposed to be proud of your man. Because after all, he's just a man. No, no, he's not just a man. 
That man is special unto you. He's not just a man. Yeah? Like I said, we only just touching the surface because if we talk deeper, it goes deeper and deeper. All right? But then the scriptures never fail. There's a lot of things I didn't understand about women, but coming to this truth, you begin to un you understand more. It's about the man. Okay? And if you're in the right frame of mind, you'll totally understand. Okay? And it's very hard for women to get that that concept around their 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 thought, thought process, that a man can have more than one woman, but a woman can only have one man. This is why she must only love one man. Yeah, we've heard this from time to time, a hundred and one thousand times. Yeah, this is why the scriptures are. It gives you answers to everything. Because after all, he's just a man. No, no, no. He's a special man. And there's going to be a reason for this. All right? It's not about equal opportunity. Now, the second part of the, the song, this is where it starts to get more interesting now. Now she starts to say, stand by your man. Now, this is how you women, you know, should understand that it's about the man. Now she's going to say, now stand by your man. Give him two arms to cling to. And something warm to come to when nights are cold and lonely. It's all about the man, you know. Here we go. Here she say again, stand by your man. And show the world you love him. Keep giving all, he says all, you know, the love you can. Stand by your man. Again, it says, stand by your man. And show the world you love him. Keep giving, he says, keep giving all the love you can. Stand by your man. All right? That's the lyrics for that song. All right? So I'm just going to bring out a couple of scriptures. I'm not going to make a, a, a big thing out of it, but this is very important. This is why we tell you sisters to keep in order. The same way as men, <clears throat> we have to keep in order. To our man, to our head, which is Yahweh Shai HaMashiach. We have to keep in order. Because when time is ready to kick off, hell is, all hell is going to break loose. We're going to need Yahweh Bashar Mashiach, our head. And you sisters are going to need your head, which is your man. So if you have a man, cleave unto him. For you sisters that don't have any men, there are hundreds of men out there right now. Right? That are worthy. That are doing the work. Okay? That are knowledgeable. You've got hundreds of brothers out there. So this is a message to you, sisters. Now, now is the time to... to, to to, to cleave unto your man if you have a man. And if you don't have a man, find a man. There are men out there right now. Beautiful brothers out there right now. Okay? Knowledgeable brothers. I'm talking about knowledgeable brothers that you could learn from. Sincere brothers that you could learn from. Okay? Isaiah 32 verse 2. A man... And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a co covert from the tempest, as rivers of water in a dry place, as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. A man and a man shall be as a hiding place 
from the wind. You see what's coming? This destruction that is coming. Jacob's trouble that is coming. Okay? You see, let's just keep it real here. It's the man that does the hard work, you know. Don't get me wrong. A woman, if she's in a right frame of mind and she's looking after her husband, the family, supporting her man, of course, pressure's going to come with it. Don't we? We have to keep it real. But the bulk of the pressure and the stress of life, right? It comes of the man. Okay? Like I said, we don't want to stretch this out. We all know this already. Because when that time comes, you're going to need protection. Now, the Lord's going to have mercy on whom he will have mercy. Okay? Because you remember, as we say, you know, we said the 144 governing body of men, then you've got the one third of men, women, and children. Okay? So you have elect ladies out there, women. Like I said, it's not for me to say, the Lord will have mercy on whom he will have mercy. Yes? But in terms of order, Yahweh, his son, Yahweh Shai, The men, the women, the children, that's why we say Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rekar Kodash. Men, the women, and the children. Everything has to be decently done. Everything has to be orderly, decently done in order. Paraphrasing. Yeah? Everything has to be in order with the Lord. Okay? Because that time is coming. And you're going to need a man to protect you. You're going to need a man. Isaiah 13 verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man than the golden wedge of Ophrah. Right? And this is what the brothers are doing right now. They are going through the fight, the struggling... The temptation. You don't think the men are going through it? And let's keep it right. You women, you sisters are going through it too. All right? But you need guidance. And there's a reason for that. You need protection. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. You didn't say a woman. A man. More than fine gold. Even a man than golden wedge of Ophir. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall remove out of her place. That, that, doesn't, sound, that doesn't sound like a, a, a normal walk in a park. In the wrath of the Lord of power, of host, the armies, in all the day of his fierce anger. And it shall come and it shall be as a chase row and as a sheep that no man taketh up. They shall every man turn to his own land, his own people, and flee every one into his own land. So just keep bear in mind, right? I don't need a man. I, of course you need a man. We are us as men. We need Yahweh Shai. We need Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Okay? So women, you need a man. Jeremiah 30 verse 5. But I'm going to read this in an N N L V N L T N L T version. This is what the Lord says. I hear cries of fear. There is terror and no peace. Now let me ask you a question. Do men give birth? To babies? No, you know, that's impossible. Then why do they stand there, ashen faced, hands pressed against their sides, like a woman in labor? And you know, when a woman gives ba a birth, she's in pain. She's screaming. All right? She's shouting out. 
That's so he's giving that unto a like as a man because he's the stress he's going through, the pain he's going through, the struggles of life. To when you serve in the heavenly Father, Yahweh Basham Yashai Basham Rekakra, and you know that this place is not for you, right? The struggles of this world. Well, let's not get into it. Then why do they stand there, ashen faced, hands pressed against their sides, like a woman in labor? Listen now. In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. What is coming? But listen, the men are dealing with it. Okay, we know that the scriptures in now. He that endureth to the end. But there, the men that has been called into this truth are dealing with a lot of pressure, a lot of stress. Okay. That's why you women, you have the easy part. All you have to do is just stand by your man, support him, make his burdens lighter. That's all it's, it's said. Stand by your man. You love him, you cherish him, because in that day, you don't understand when that time comes, you're gonna need help, okay? Right, I'm not talking about picking up any man, any Israelite man, you're talking about picking up a sincere, knowledgeable man, a, a fearing man of the Lord, dedicated, all right? Doing the will of the Heavenly Father to the best of his ability. Pray for it. And the Lord will show you, all right? But you can't be stubborn. Because if you understand the scriptures, all right? You should know that you're going to need a man in the time to come. Yeah? In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people Israel. Wow. Yet in the day they shall be, they will be saved. Right? So we know at the end of the day, all Israel is going to be saved. Okay? But we're all fighting to, to, to get into the kingdom the first time around. The first time. Okay? And if you deal with your man correctly, the man will support you. The Lord will see this. You remember the scripture, power of his truth, trial bearing? Well, let's not get into that. Okay? Because you need a man. You need to support your man. Alright? First Peter 3 verse 7 Likewise ye husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honour unto the wife. So we have to respect our wives. Don't think that we, oh, you sit down, you shut up, and you don't do this, you don't. No, 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 no. Once a woman is do things decently and in order, you have nothing to worry about. That man would love you and protect you as unto the weaker vessel. This is what the scriptures are saying. You're the weaker vessel out of the two. And as being heirs together of grace, of life, that your prayers be not hindered. You see? Because you know a man comes together with a woman. Okay? And the two of them together, you know, what the Lord puts together, you know, it works good. There's a scripture about that. Um, they come together as one flesh or something. All right? Paraphrasing. Okay? And this is what the Lord wants, that, that bond. The man is keeping in order and the woman keeps in order. And the Lord likes that. He loves that. Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai. So when we go into that word, um, the weaker vessel, it just says, um, uh, 
let's, let's play it. Strong's G772, Asthenace, Asthenace. It says weak, infirm, feeble. That's all it is. It says, uh, and the base of strength, strengthless, in various applications, literal, figurative, and moral. You see, more feeble, impotent, sick, without strength, weak. So you're, you're the weaker vessel. All right, and this is according to the scriptures. We're not, we're not like saying, okay, you're a woman, shut up. No, we're not saying that. We're just going according to the scriptures. Because we have to treat a woman fairly. Yeah? Once everything is done decently and in order, then we know we have to do things also as men, decently and in order. All right? Ecclesiasticus 36 verse 24 He that getteth He, the man That getteth a wife Beginneth a possession A help Like unto himself And a pillar of rest This is your job to comfort us Support us Yeah First Corinthians 11 verse 8 for the man is not of the woman, but the woman of the man. Right? This is the book of 1 Corinthians 11, verse 8 to 9. Neither was a man created for the woman. All right? And it might sound harsh. So, you know, in these churches, they don't, when they read, I, I can't remember hearing anything like this in church. Because it's going to create problems. Right? This is the way it's supposed to go. Yeah, this is how we do it, according to the scriptures. Neither was a man created for the woman, but it says, but the woman for the man. A woman, women, you sisters, if you haven't got a man now, find a man, okay? Like I say it again, there is so, there's so many brothers out there that are, you know, that need help, okay? Support, okay? Knowledge of your brothers out there. Don't just don't get with any brother like that. You have to be a knowledge, but it's, it's down to you, praying to the Lord, and the Lord will find you. But you must pray to our Heavenly Father, because you're going to need a man in the last days to come. We're, we're in the last days now, okay? So that's it really. All right. Isaiah 32 and 32 verse 2. And a man shall be as a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of waters in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. And we know, we know that Jacob's trouble, hey, the RFID chip, Remember, the Lord's going to lift up a standard, you know. Can you imagine being with a, a, a great, mighty man in that time? You know? And this is the same with us. We are fighting for that protection as men. We are fighting for Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. As men. And we're hoping and praying that we have the elect. Because we want protection in that time. We want, we need protection. Not even want, we need, we must have protection. That's the only way out. It's impossible to do it on our, on our own. It's impossible. All right? So women, stand by your man. Do the right thing. Keep the order. And you'll be good. Okay? So this is just a basic... Um... Um, lesson all right like i said we've we've spoke you know from the apostles come down uh i've spoken on this topic hundreds and hundreds of times yeah 
And, um, you know, the time of Jacob's trouble is coming. The hour of temptation is coming. World War Three is coming. All right? But we all, we all need Yahweh Basham Yahushai. We all need Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rikakudash. Okay? So open prayer, this is edifying. To the spirit and the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai Rakuthi Yahweh Basham Yahushai Basham Rikakudash and double honors to our teachers of Great Millstone. All right? Shalom.